Hello and long time no talk. Things have been different around here for about a week now, eight days to be exact. Our lives have changed for the most amazing reasons. I wanted to film a 24 hours in the life with a newborn. It is a different life, I will tell you that, but I've never been more happy in my entire life. I've never been so in love in my entire life. I've also never been so tired in my entire life, but it's all for the best reasons. I just want to take you along and show you what my new life looks like because we're not just Lauren anymore. We're mom. Insane to me. So I wanted to start this off now. Today is Saturday the 25th of February. It is 10.07 p.m. and I'm going to officially start this at 12 or anytime after 12 whenever his first feeding is at night. Probably around like 1. As of right now we're all getting ready for bed. Keiko will be in here soon. I'll feed him for the last time before we swaddle him and put him in his bassinet and then yeah so i just wanted to start this now while i'm still awake and able to talk to you and not half asleep but yeah welcome back to the channel our first vlog with baby boy besides the birth vlog but i love him so much he is just chilling in his donkey tot right now oh, i still need to feed him before he goes to bed obviously but he's just chilling in there half asleep half awake he keeps squirming but there's the big stretch the big stretch my perfect boy love him so much and our other perfect boy <laughs> still taking up the whole bed Good morning guys. It is 9.18 a.m. It's officially morning, meaning we're not going to go back to sleep. <laughs> Feeding Zeke for the third time today. Fed him at 1.30 and then like 6? 1.30, 5, and 9. Or like 2, I don't remember. I showed you though. But yeah, good morning. I didn't talk at all last night because obviously we're just going through the motions last night. But usually what we do is I wake him up to feed him. I usually feed him on both sides. So in between, and after I finish the first side, I wake Kiko up. He burps him, changes him, and then gives him back to me. And then I feed him the second side. Whenever I'm done feeding him, the last side is when I go back to sleep. And then Kiko will take over and burp and change him and then put him back to sleep. And that's just what's been working for us because Zeke is such a good sleeper. He literally will sleep if we don't wake him up. So we get good sleep like in between feedings, but feedings take a long time sometimes. Like he was feeding for like 30 minutes on the side last night. But if you know, you know, the newborn 
life and I wouldn't have it any other way because I love him so much but it is exhausting sometimes and breastfeeding is exhausting and we're still getting the hang of it we're doing it so I'm feeding him right now once I'm done Kiko will probably take him and then I usually go shower and get ready for the day because one the postpartum BO is real and I'm like fine during the day but when I wake up in the morning after a night my armpits stink so bad and they do right now I always cannot wait to shower and wash my face and brush my teeth and all the stuff and then I just feel refreshed for the day it is 9 20 right now so it's pretty late for us but honestly we just go off of his feedings so sometimes we're up for the day at six sometimes we're up at nine like today <sighs> But today's Sunday, which is nice. And we've actually had visitors come every single day since we've gotten home. Except today is our first day that we don't have anyone coming. We have people coming tomorrow, but we just have a little break today to spend the day with ourselves and our little family so that's exciting and it's also not supposed to rain today it's been raining every single day for a while or it's just been freezing so maybe we'll go on our first little family walk today not really sure yet what we're gonna do but i'm pretty excited for today because we have a full day just doing whatever and the weather's a little bit nicer it's not pouring Okay, we are downstairs because I need to store <clears throat> the milk that I caught on the other boob during the last couple feedings. The last time I fed was six. I'm also starving, so I need to eat something before I shower because I'm like, my stomach is like throbbing. This thing has been a game changer. I can't live without this. Um, it's the LV curve. Basically, when you're feeding on one side, you put it on your other boob to catch the letdown. And it's I it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Today is the 26th already. Banana. Also, his umbilical cord just fell off overnight <laughs> sometime. I don't know when. Um, which is what this is. Literally blood from his umbilical cord. And Hey guys, I'm ready for the day. I feel so good. I always feel like a new woman after I shower in the morning, even if I don't wash my hair like I did not when I washed it yesterday. Mr. Zeke is just wide awake, just staring at mommy. What are you looking at now, huh? I love him so much, so much. He's usually awake at this time in the morning and then he'll be awake like right before bed. But during the day, he pretty much just sleeps. At night, he pretty much just sleeps. He's just an angel baby. And I know it's only been nine days now, but safe to say, he has my heart and I love him so much. Hi, baby. How weird is it seeing me a mom? Probably very weird. We're also planning to film our birth story today since we have a whole day to ourselves. That one would be up before this vlog. If you haven't watched that, go watch it because it is the craziest, best story I could ever tell. And yeah, for a little time update, it's 10.33. Still need to eat breakfast, but Kiko will probably make breakfast when he comes down. He's just getting ready. And we're just chilling, waiting for daddy, huh? He's so small, he doesn't even fit in his newborn kite baby. He's a little guy, but he's already growing a lot. He's getting a little chunkier and he's getting longer because his feet are finally staying in here a little better. It's obviously still too big, but this is our life. Okay, it's 11.51 and he's eating again. We're making a target list. I don't need anything. Oh, okay. Because we're gonna make our first Target trip today with him, probably. After I eat some lunch, after I feed him, besides his first appointment that he had last Monday, we haven't, well, I haven't left the house. We went to the store yesterday, but I've been at home with him 
all day every single day so it'll probably be nice to get out of the house <clears throat> i'll probably also be exhausted and it's been cold so we can't go yeah and it's been freezing and raining so we haven't been able to go and walk with him yet it's supposed to rain tomorrow tuesday wednesday and then be sunny Ocean baby. Okay, it is 12.39. I just ate lunch. I had leftover Autobata fries from yesterday dinner and now I'm fed and feeling good. We're gonna try to go on a walk instead of Target um, just because that's what's feeling better right now. And I haven't gone on a walk yet, so. Yeah, but we're gonna try the Sully Baby Wrap for the first time. So I need to watch a video on how the heck to do this. First, you're gonna find your tag. Mm -hmm. You're gonna place it right in the center. Yes. And you're gonna go over, mm -hmm. not knot it in the back. With the other side, cross it and bring it over your shoulder. You're gonna cross right. these in the front. All right, and then you're gonna gather all the fabric. Your baby is, is how much space you're gonna leave right here. So my bottom one is this one. So I'm gonna put it right here. The baby. Talkies. Ready for your first walk. This body. Little body. You got hair in your mouth. Kiki charming. Can you pull the legs up? Legs up or not? Ooh, so snug. Yeah, you feel secure. Look who rock on how did he get that? Ready for our first walk. Hey guys, it's 3.30. I'm feeding him again. <laughs> I started at like 3.20, but he just switched to the other side. And we went on our walk and it was very nice. It was nice to get fresh air, but I came back and I needed a nap. So I took an hour nap, a little power nap that was much needed. And now I'm up because my boobs were in need of some relief. And he was also hungry, so that worked out. I'm trying to vlog as much as possible, but all he really does is eat and sleep and poop, like everybody says. We're soon trying out every way to burp him because he does not like to burp. It worked. He said he just saw this on Instagram. It worked, but not right away. It still took a while. But these things, they're called silverettes and you need them if you're breastfeeding, especially for the first time. They've definitely healed my nipples because you know you know the beginning, it's just really painful while your nipples are like getting used to all of the sucking, but, and then they can get like blistery and cracked even and bleed even. I didn't get that to that stage, thankfully, but probably because of these things, you just put them on in between feedings is what I did. I like would put nipple, butter on this is the one that i use the earth mama one i put this on and then put silverette over it and then just keep it on in between feedings and it definitely works because they've definitely healed over time because they were very in pain in the beginning and blistery but now they're better we need to film our video sir mm. Thank you for the cuddles. Ouch, 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 boobs. Nap time. Good boy, Yonku. You sniff him? Yeah, he loves his hands if you can't tell. He loves sleeping with his hands up, but he also loves to be swaddled and have them by his side. So he really doesn't care, I mm. think. Easy baby, huh, Yonku? That's your brother, that's your brother. Okay, this is from one feeding session. It's probably mainly from my right boob because that one produces a lot more. It's still not empty. I've only pumped one time and that was because it was when like my milk just came in and I was terrified of it clogging or something. So I had to pump like just a tiny bit to relieve it. Since then I haven't like electric pumped. I've only been using this, the LV Curb. It's like the Hakka, but it's a different ape pretty much. I have the Hakka too, and I know everyone swears by it, but just look at the shape difference and the convenience of this because you can tuck it in your bra 
and just have it sit there but this just literally hangs off your boob so not a huge fan of the haka but it works it's just awkward to use i keep writing five as the month 2 26 3 p.m Alright guys, it's 726 and I haven't vlogged in a while because we filmed our birth story video. That's really exciting, so I'm excited to get that video up. Then I had to upload all the footage onto my laptop so then I couldn't have my SD card, which is why I haven't filmed in a few hours. But you haven't really missed much besides filming that video, obviously. And then I fed him one more time at like 6. So already an hour and a half ago? No, an hour ago. 6.30. And now we're watching this show called Physical 100. Like a Korean game show about like fitness and strength and that type of stuff. It's kind of interesting, but kind of a lot because it's all like voiceovers and subtitles. It's a good show just to watch. Now we're just chilling. We also ate dinner. We have these flautas from Costco that we always get. We freeze them and then they're so good. And we put sour cream on them. So we did that today and they have been part of a meal train that someone in my family signed us up for, which has been so awesome. And I highly recommend if you are having a baby, to sign up for a meal train or have someone sign you up because all you do have the website and then people you can send the link to people and they can go on and sign up for a day that they can come bring you dinner and visit you and meet the baby or they can just drop it off and they don't even have to come in and meet the baby it's all about just bringing meals for the new parents or whatever so that we don't have to cook and it's been a blessing because we literally haven't cooked anything until today and all we did was heat up frozen meal <laughs> now i'm gonna make some ice cream cones because he went and got ice cream yesterday and cones and yeah look at baby it's a mess in here but don't mind that oh the diaper mm-hmm mm -hmm. skin to skin look at his little head that has his name and his birthday my sister tattooed him like three days ago when she came over look at this i'll probably take the wrap off tomorrow mm. then we can take a picture mm -hmm. after we clean up my nipple hairs squiggly here he always has his hand he's laying on his hand mm -hmm. look at his look at the furry arms the furry arms you didn't get that from me <laughs> me either you got it because you're a baby i want to be into video too hi i love you you want to go make some ice cream cones with me come on come on okay welcome to my ice cream shop we've got cones rocky road and cookies and cream Big brothers need love too, huh? Down. Gentle. Maybe take it sideways? Oh gosh. He doesn't know how to eat them. There you go. <laughs> and then we have a poop machine over here. Pooping machine. This has been going for the last five minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be a big diaper. A big diaper change. Wait. See, do you see your brother? See, your brother trying to show you something. Look, girl. Look who's awake. I have to change him now. Uh -huh. Look at their face. It's a lot of poop. Okay, it's 9.55. We usually get in bed around anywhere from 8 to 10, pretty much. And Daddy's changing his last diaper probably before he goes to sleep. Actually, I don't know because I might feed him again. Before we swaddle him, put him in his bassinet because the last time I fed him was 8.30 and it's 10. I use the Nara Baby app or Nara Baby. You can't see it. It has a little sun emoji on it and it's really easy to use. I just use it to track his feedings. So you can put what time you last fed and then what side and how long on each side, so it's been nice. But you can also track diapers and a bunch of other random things. So I just do his feeding that I can remember, and it tells you the last time you fed, so it's easy to use, and I like it. So I like didn't want to get a diaper pail, but we ended up getting one over there, if you can see it. The Ubi, because of... <laughs> we got a bin, sir. We got a diaper pail because of Rocco and for the preventative measures of him going through the trash can and eating diapers. He didn't do that yet, but now he won't because we have the diaper trash can and we really like it. 
<clears throat> this is our nighttime setup. My breastfeeding pillow's over there. I use the My Breast Friend pillow, and I really like it actually. His diaper caddy stays on the bed with all his stuff in it. And I have snacks and hydration over here. He has his swaddle right there. My LV curve, all the necessities, and a baby. That's a big yawn. You made me yawn. Well, I was drinking water down. Yeah, can you hear me? Hi, my baby. Look at your heart forehead. Hi. Do you see him? Marco, where's your brother? Where's your brother? He's just staring at the camera. What is that huge thing? That huge black thing. Hi, my baby. You want to eat again before you go to sleep? Oh, not you. I'm talking to your brother. Say, look at us, Daddy. We're a pro now. No pillow? Just for this fun. Gosh. Okay, it's that time of night. Favorite time. He loves to be swaddled, you guys. But he also loves to sleep with his arms right by his face. So it just doesn't make sense. He's just an easy baby and doesn't mind how he sleeps, which is a blessing. They're judging me because I'm wearing blue with red. <sighs> no one is judging your outfit. Look at all this blue. Good night, baby. I love you. Okay, it's 10 17. Just fed him for the last time for tonight. He is going to sleep, so I probably won't be vlogging again. And since this is ending at 12, probably the end of the vlog. Turn the machine on.